So it's another week back in Mexico and this week we have two new cars which will mean two extra videos and uh, one of them is electric because if we go down here to a Cupra which is not to be confused with the Supra that I was driving earlier and you can see in the background we have got this thing it has 429 horsepower 485 foot pounds of torque and it weighs 3142 pounds here's the kicker it's electric oh and it only comes in one color and it's two million credits Unless you wait and get one that's gifted for free, but I don't have the attention span for that. So we'll come back and take a look at the upgrades in a little bit, but I just want to check something on the motor and battery. What can we take this thing up to in terms of horsepower? 571, 794... Oh, that's a lot of power! That is a lot of power, I'm coming back to that, I'm so coming back to that. As you can tell, we have an absolutely amazing exhaust note of, um... Barely anything. But the rest we'll come back to you because I want to go and race this thing bone stock. So one thing I want to say before we jump into this race is this is a concept car which could be coming to production in the next year or so. So that's interesting. And away we go. We've got 400 and something brake horsepower. We have just one gear. I just had to go and check that. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting thing. It's bone stock, track toys competing with the likes of Porsches and Aston Martin right there. And we've got to try and get through the entire lot. Now, as a lot of you know, that uh, I don't exactly have a great history with electric vehicles. Take the uh, Razor Tachyon Spoo, which I've made three separate videos on, and it is still terrible. But uh, yeah, hopefully this one could be the car to change my mind. Well, I can safely say uh, the brakes are terrible. Um, but I mean, hey, the interior looks nice. So this thing feels a little unsteady, but uh, I mean, hey, it's fully electric, so that's kind of to be expected of this thing. Plus, it is absolutely tiny form factor too. I nearly hit a building. Uh, I'm sorry, is that a McLaren? Goodbye, thank you, I'll take your spot now. Jumping back in at 95%, we are still in front of the McLaren, and that is going to be us across the line, in first, in an electric vehicle. How? How on earth did we do that? Well, that was uh, quite something, but now we get to go a little more crazy. 1009 brake horsepower. We're going to go ahead, keep single wheel drive because there's no way we can change it anyway. And we're going to go ahead and throw on some drag tyres, make them a little wider. Yeah, I think you know where this is going. We can make this thing like, oh dear me, I am very scared of this now. And we'll just go ahead and tune the one solitary gear. And some good news is this thing has some tunable aero from stock, thankfully. So one thing I didn't get to show you about the paint is there's actually quite a fair few paint groups to this thing. We've got paint group number one. We've got what's paint group number two. Let's take a look. That is the roof. And then paint group number three, I'm assuming, is the sides, maybe? It is. We have a very eco machine here. Not only is it going green with how it's all put together, it is also going green with the paint. And also, here is what you get as a reward for owning this thing. And also the car mastery, if anybody's interested. So here we are now over at the Festival Drag Strip with our fully upgraded Urban Dawn. No, oh, not Urban Dawn, Urban Rebel. Why do I keep thinking it's Urban Dawn? <coughs> Take two. So here we are over at the Drag Strip with our Urban Rebel from Cupra. The name still confuses me with an artist's name, but uh, whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and floor it. Let's see what we can get out of the 1,000 horsepower of electric vehicle. This thing is... Oh, that's... Um, that's quick. That's quick. That's quick. That's quick. Oh, it's 195 and we could still keep going. Okay. Somebody in a filming group did this, so I want to try it too. We're going back in reverse. Sadly, not back to the future. 200 in reverse. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Game. That's it. Oh, God. That's all gone wrong. Okay, so now we put it back onto proper suspension. We give it a nice little drivetrain and a, a diff as well. Why? Because we can. And back onto its tyres, which are apparently full slicks from factory. Okay, why do these rims actually work really well with this thing? So the sun is setting, but we are now at the edge of the motorway with something that is honestly kind of terrifying. So we're going to go ahead through the speed zone, through the downhill, through the camera, all of our usual things, and try and find out if this is actually Forza's fastest electric vehicle, because it needs to beat 245 miles an hour, which I kind of think it can. And any second now, we should be out of the speed zone at 244, and I feel like this thing could go quicker. I'm just going to sort the gears. Give me a second. Oh, that's the wrong way, there we go. And through the camera we go at 246, and going downhill, 250 miles an hour out of this thing. 252, oh dear, oh, oh, oh. this thing is actually kind of scary quick if I'm honest with you. I wonder if it can do 250 in reverse. Uh, I'm not going to have any rubble on these tyres left. 
or any of this car left. Cool. Okay, so now something that I'm kind of scared of is attempting to drift this thing. So I don't actually know if it will or not, but um, it's more sort of power sliding its way through life. But 33,906 points on the first run through, which is not bad for an electric vehicle. I want to try and see if it can get better on the way back. Or any, because this game decided not to start the drift zone. Thank you, Forza. Absolutely wonderful. Right, let's go ahead and try it one again, shall we? There we go. In to the drift zone. Let's see, can we keep this thing sideways? I think we can. Oh, we really can. Okay. Uh, 38,000 and a tyre bundle. Wonderful. However, now we've moved over to a bit of the map that's a bit sunnier. That is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at the Cupra with me. And I've got to say, I don't actually mind it. I never thought I would say that about an EV, well, ever, really. But um, it's not awful. However, make of this video what you will. I've got to say, it's a very interesting car. I'm still not completely sold on the idea of electric vehicles. But this thing is certainly doing a good job of trying to say that they're decent. Because they're 250, Forza's fastest electric vehicle. The Cupra, which is kind of mad, and this thing is a 2 million from the auto show. But yeah, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to stop talking now, otherwise I'm going to ramble on to the next millennia. But thank you all for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Tech out. At least this thing takes the saying of going green to a whole new level.